Hi guys, I've been shooting my own food photography for as long as I've been writing about food. Apart from cooking, it is one of my big passions. So I've teamed up with the guys from Canon to create brilliant food photography videos to help you create brilliant food imagery. While shooting food photography at home or in studio can be lots of fun, I really love the adventure of shooting out and about. You can get some really incredible images. Here are my five tips on how to get the very best food photography while traveling. Wherever you arrive to, whether it's a village, a town or a city, it's really important to get some establishing shots. These are the shots that open up the story, that tell you where you are and really give you a sense of what's coming. Spend some time getting some really good quality portrait and landscape scenery shots. I like to do this first thing in the morning or last thing in the evening, which will give you the optimum light of the day. So this is my hometown of Hoth. It is a picturesque fishing village and it's the perfect place to get some food and travel photography. This is Hoth Lighthouse, one of the landmarks here in Hoth and a perfect way of establishing where I am. So I'm gonna take some landscapes and some portraits here. The little details are often overlooked, so when you get to your location, make sure to spend some time to find those cool little elements that will help tell the story and be specific to your location. These might only be lobster pots, fish, or even just an old sign, but they give a great sense of location. They also look great in a montage too. Now, this might not look like much, but having those little photographs of details like this will help tell the story of where you are. If you're shooting out and about for the first time, it can be fairly nerve-wracking asking people to pose for you, but don't be afraid to ask someone to hold something for you or to stand up against a wall, and really getting that portrait shot will allow you to tell that human story. Do you mind if I take a picture? Oh, yeah. yeah? <laughs> Don't forget to bring a notepad with you so you can write down names of things you've seen, the people you've spoken to, and any other detail that's necessary. One of my favorite things to shoot is fishmongers, butchers, or food markets. There's so much action and there's so much to choose from, so it's a really great opportunity to get brilliant food photography. Shooting out and about means you're at the mercy of the weather and if you're shooting in direct sunlight you can completely blow out your food shot. So try and find a shaded area where you've got nice even light, a place where you have no bright highlights and no dark shadows, something with a really nice even light. Restaurants can be a notoriously difficult place to get a decent food image, but sit yourself beside a window with natural light, don't stand on a chair, make sure to be discreet, but don't be afraid to get the shot that you're happy with. I've just ordered porridge for breakfast. I'm in one of my favorite restaurants in Hoth. I've sat myself beside the window, a place I always try and get when I'm here. And it's very easy to get a really good picture from here. I've got rhubarb, compote, I've got bananas, I've got lovely granola, and now it's time to just get the shot. Once you have it though, the most important thing to do is get stuck in. When you first start shooting food photography out and about, don't be shy. Some of my favorite food images that I've ever taken have been peering around the door of a kitchen in New York City, capturing a Vietnamese street vendor mid-argument, or even French ladies doing their shopping in a market. These sorts of images are really worthwhile getting, so take your time, look at what's going on around you, and don't be afraid to get the shot. More often than not, they won't even notice you're there. For more food photography tips and tricks, make sure to subscribe to the channel, check out the full list of Canon equipment I use in the box below, and of course, get out there and get snapping.